This video will demonstrate how to upload drawings to LiveCount. If you do not have a Trimble Connect license, you can upload drawings from your local machine by clicking on the Upload Drawing button, which will present a file explorer where you can then select the drawing that you wish to upload. A progress bar will be presented at the top. And once the drawing is uploaded and fully converted, you will see a notification at the bottom, as well as at the top, indicating the number of drawings that were successfully converted. If you upload a drawing which cannot be converted for use in live count, you will see an indicator that is displayed that shows the drawing could not be converted. And lastly, if you upload a drawing, of a non-supported file format, such as this BMP, you'll receive an indicator at top saying the file type is not allowed. And to dismiss this, simply click the X button. In the next example, I will be showing you how to upload drawings to live count if you have a Trimble Connect license. Right now I am in live count and I am in the document manager, which displays the files and folders that you have uploaded to Trimble Connect. So in this example, I have three folders and at the root is this PDF. Moving back to our drawings page, to add the drawings to live count from Trimble Connect, click Add Drawings and under the Document Manager tab, you can upload these drawings. So expanding out my list here, I'm going to upload the drawing from subfolder 2, and then I'll click on folder 1, and then select one of these drawings. In order to access any drawings that are at the root of your Trimble Connect project, click the name of the project, and then select the drawing name. An indicator at the bottom will tell you how many drawings you have selected and then click Add Drawings to proceed with the upload and conversion. At the top, it'll inform you how many drawings have been converted. And once complete, a green indicator will be shown to let you know that the process has finished. Any drawings that fail to upload and convert will be indicated by the presence of a red icon. Moving back to the Add Drawings, you will see here that if I click on the root, it'll show me that this drawing has already been added. And then if we look at Folder 1, E2.1 has been added. And then if we go down to Subfolder 2, that the Welton drawing has been added. If you wish to filter these out so you don't accidentally upload duplicate drawings, you can do so by clicking Hide Added Drawings. As you will see, Folder 2 disappeared as well. This is because all the drawings within Folder 2 and its subfolders have been uploaded. Clicking on Folder 1, the remaining two drawings will be present and available for upload. If you wish to see all of your drawings again, simply click the slider to disable Hide Added Drawings, at which point all your drawings will be available. If you choose not to utilize Trimble Connect, under the Add Drawings dialog, click the Upload button, and you may then upload the drawings from your local machine.